Hello Magical Box Lovers and welcome back to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 45 years old and I live here in sunny Blue Sky Derbyshire and it's November. I love it. So here today I've got my second box from Cotton. Yay! So I'm really excited to show you this. So all I've done is I've just opened it as usual. I am completely honest with you guys. I've opened it just got rid of any extra packaging, you know, the little noodle doodles got rid of that. You don't need to see all the extra packaging, but I haven't opened anything else that's inside here, so I don't know the contents. Right, so I will show you the outer bag. So the outer bag, very discreet, just plain black bag. But it doesn't say coven all over it or anything witchcraft or anything like that. However, on the return address, which is really, 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 really tiny fine print, it just says coven on there so just to be aware of that if you are concerned about what people see in your mail it does say it but it is very very discreet um so yeah and um, that is obviously just my address that i've moved out but yeah it's very discreet packaging this bit the inside bit is not <laughs> so covens this is my second box this is november 2022 let's get to it but if you want to check out Coven's website, uh, I will put the link in the description box because I'm getting good now. I've got a link for it uh, where you can just click it on and then it'll take you straight to their site. And every box that Coven sell a uh, pound goes to Sophie Lancaster Foundation. So thank you very much Coven for that. Uh, it is a foundation that's really close to my heart. Uh, we've been a, a goth girl as well. So yeah, it's really close to my heart. So thank you very much Coven for doing that. So here we go. I love that. <laughs> Spooky for life. Too true, too true. All right. So we get a little, little card and just a little tiny thing like that. Just put a little smile on my face, you know. So all I've done is I have just opened it like that. I am completely honest with you guys. If I have looked at something, I will tell you. I'm not going to go, no, I haven't looked at it when I actually have. I've obviously opened it. So I have opened it. That seems to be their logo. Uh, the crescent moon with the witch's hat on there we go and this is our, I can't show it you it's, ingre it's the ingredients list oh we're nearly giving everything away then uh, so November's theme is fates and fortune so I'll just hold up a little bit and there we go you can see that <laughs> the rest of it you can't see because it'll ruin it oh <laughs> We've got, I can't really hide what that was. I saw that, like, you can never have too many of those. Um, as I've, you've probably heard me mention in some of my other videos, I work in a hospital and I'm always leaving mine about somewhere because I work all over the hospital and I'll put it down somewhere and forget where I've left it and then I'm not working there the following day. So it, it gets lost. So I'll just get everything out quickly and then wax melts I think and then it will go each in turn Ooh, that, don't, it's heavy whatever that is these little things I haven't looked at I've been really really good because I could if I wanted to but I haven't little magnet yeah I haven't looked at those I'm so I'm such a good girl aren't I such a good girl My box is empty. Um, go on and put my eye out. <laughs> my box is empty. Right. Put my bit of paper to one side. As you know, I save everything and anything so that I'll go to my paper, paper pile. Right. Ooh, we're ready. So, where to begin? I'll put that in my little thing. Right. Um, Black Cat Fortune, Past, Present, Future. 
will good or bad luck cross your path so it's oh it's, an, it's a, a postcard so on the back it's a postcard I like that that's cool I like that and go for this Oh, oh, it says aura on the back, so I'm presuming it's a wax melt. I'm just going to look at the ingredients list whilst I show it you. Uh, aura wax melt, yeah, wax melt. So, let's, can I, how do I get into it? Oh, it smells nice. Oh, oh, yeah, it smells really nice. Why am I I'm going like that? Have a smell. Have a smell. Oh, go on, have a smell. What's it smell like? It smells nice. Smells it. Oh, smells lovely. Nearly dropped it. Be playing with that later. My crystal ball says you're full of. Yes. <laughs> Mine don't. When that when I use my crystal ball, it doesn't say that. I'm putting that on my fridge. On the subject of crystal balls, you are full of magic. I did wonder what you were going to say then. <laughs> it's their pin. How cute is that? And that is the website on the back for Coven. Well, I say I will pop the link down in the uh, description box. And we've got the cute little symbol on the back there. I love that. I don't know what to go next. I thought, I thought this said psycho. I, look, I read it wrong. Psychic or psychic. <laughs> What are we with soap? I'm, I'm going to have to see, see how big it is. I don't know if it's soap or a bath bomb, to be honest. Let me have a look. Tarot bath bomb by Scrub Cosmetics. Hidden fortune inside. So it's got something inside. Yeah, I can see just there. There's like a shadow, isn't there? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it says on here directions remove packaging, add in bath. So, yeah, it says it in small print on the back what to do with it. Because I'm like, it's a bit heavy for soap, you know what you're thinking? I, I love that. I'll play with that later. Yeah, I need a bath. Yeah, <laughs> what we've got here. Handcrafted herbal oil. Fast look. Oh, how cute is that packaging? I'm trying to get it so you can see. How cute is that? So it is. This oil is blended and individually craft, uh, created for specific ritual or magic purposes. It can be rubbed on candles, amulets, necklaces, ne necklaces, necklaces. Uh, jewellery and altar tools. Powerful energies of the oil will merge with the magical symbolism and powerful properties of the tool. Finally, crystals, talismans and other charms anointed with oil will turn them into items of magical power and energy. They will work with the oil to make your desires go drill. <gasps> make sure your crystals are like water soluble first. <laughs> Otherwise, you, you can damage your crystals if you put some oils on them. <laughs> I personally don't put oils on my crystals. <laughs> Hang on, there's something in it. Oh, so it hasn't already got the dropper in it. It's got a, you know, the stopper dropper. But beautiful packaging. I love that. Oh, it has. Oh, no, it's, it's got a stopper. It's a stopper one. So it, I can actually smell it through. Very herbal. It's not a floral one. It's a very herbal one. So that's lovely, that. I like that. And it's by Soul Sticks. Oh, I've just noticed on, on the uh, information leaflet, all items are vegan and cruelty-free. Lovely. I love that. Uh, the mug, a mug for a mug, fortune teller, bamboo, travel mug, the future is in your hands, too true. 
Let's go it out. Mm, 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 mm. How do I, how do I go it out without breaking? <laughs> right. I've probably gone for the wrong end. That's it. Okay. So really nicely presented. good so it's like a hygienic one as well that's brilliant that i've never seen one with one like that like that so it's just it is what it is and you've got your little hook thing i like that yeah i'll be using that it's got stars on it and such i like that and then you just I probably wouldn't use that to be honest. I might save that for actually my, I pop it in the car, you know, when you like going to McDonald's or something like that and you get their drinks, pop it, use it for that or something else. I probably wouldn't use it on one of these, I don't know. We'll see, I probably will keep it on there because it takes away the lovely design. That's that's why I wouldn't use it. But I, I do like the idea with the stopper on it because I've never seen one with a stopper you know for that type of opening they're normally just left aren't they because um, I've got one with um, like a, a top and you have to like twist it to open it up if that makes any sense so there we go likey likey so far fortune cookie I've got to open it I've got to open it for you guys and I've got to do it I might not be able to see the print on it but I've got to open it. Oh, it's not broken. Are we ready? Was it on? It was it, wasn't it, with the um, the creatures all coming out of uh, the fortune cookie? Um, mm. Oh, it's upside down. I don't think I'm reading it in different language. Hang on. I found the English, hang on. <laughs> Jealousy is a useless emotion. Oh, thanks. I am not a jealous person. That is one emotion, thankfully, I tend not to have. When I was younger, yes, I did have issues with jealousy and things like that. You know, when you're a teenager and growing up. But jealousy is something that I don't really have as an adult, thankfully. <laughs> Nice though, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so oh, I've just seen what the big item is. Well, it's a small item, but I class it as the big item in the box. I've just seen what it is, and I'm super excited. I'm saving that till last. Oh, and then I'll, I'll certainly finish that off. I'm going for these. I'm thinking of Beetlejuice. And yes, I'm saving the packets. I've got 55 billion packets, but I'm still saving them. Use them for your seeds, your herbs, things like that for drying things. Ooh, I think I know what it is. Wow, we've got a pendulum necklace. I know I say necklace weird. I know my husband always calls me on it. I say it like that. I know I say it weird. I can't change the habit of uh, a lifetime. It's like I say skeleton in, instead of skeleton. And yeah, I know. I'm weird. I'm from Derbyshire, Duck. You know, I can't. <laughs> so it looks like a snowflake obsidian. So this, you know, if you do wear your pendulums or keep it on your person, of course, it gets your natural vibration. So you will get um, a better reading. Uh, or if you're like me, um, I do have a pendulum. I have a amethyst pendulum. Is that... <laughs> now I'm not doing anything there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I, I'm actually not doing anything. I'm holding my arm perfectly still, and it's actually starting to talk to me. Uh, I do. I'm just putting it down. I don't want to freak anybody out with that. Um, because I do use my pendulum to talk spirits and it was trying to come through there. Um, but yeah, if you do have a pendulum that you wear, you will get like um, an attachment to your pendulum, if that makes sense, because it becomes more personal to you. So even if you don't have um, a 
pendulum. Uh, you can just use your necklace. Some people even just is any like weighted object on a piece of string or chain or anything. You can just use even like just anything on a piece of thread. In fact, mine's just come off. <laughs> but um, you know, it's it's just come off a little loop. Hang on. There we go. Um, Excuse me, just whilst I do some jewelry fixing. I've just pulled it off. Um, I do have a jewelry tool. If ever this happens to you, just uh, it's easy fix. It's just opened up the class. That's all. Oh, way up. I've just made it 50 times worse. You know, when things happen like this, I always think things aren't make, meant to be in that in that way. So I uh, always make it in a different way. I have got a better class, but but yeah, there we go. I do love it, and I will use it. But I have actually just broken the clasp, so I do apologise, Coven. That's it. Hang on, I'm trying to squeeze it together with my bare strength. Oh, I can't. So I do apologise. I've just broke it, but I have got connectors upstairs because I do I do a bit of jewelry making myself. So yeah, that's that's the brace. <laughs> that's, that's the necklace that I've just broke. But yeah, it's uh, you can use it. It's probably actually the spirit that just broke that. Was trying to come through. Going hello, Helen. I'm trying to talk to you and you just stopped it. Uh, but yeah, I, when things like this happen, I'm like. Things happen for a reason for me. It's like I had this this bracelet. I think it was a witch box, and when it came to me, that had broke straight off in my hand. And I was like, it's not meant to be used as a bracelet with that on it. So I use that as a magical work and as a magical charm. And then witch box has kindly in the latest box has sent me a replacement, which obviously is is perfect. But I'm always when things arrive to me that are like this some people go well it's broken but I'm like no because I work with magic it's meant to be in a different used in a different way so I'm like I know how that's going to be used I've got like um, a proper pendulum um, chain that I'm going to actually attach that bit to so that is what that is going to be used for there we go so I love that so it's snowflake obsidian there we go. So I apologise, Colin, that I, I'm just ham-fisted and wrecking stuff. But yeah, it was just the clasp. Just a little bit loose. I'm, I'm a bit scared now to open these. Ooh, got a ring. Ooh, evil eye ring. There we go. The symbol that uh, wards off the evil eye, or if you don't believe in that, it's just an eyeball ring. Will it fit because I've got fat fingers? Oh, that's a good sign. So, yeah, it'll, uh, it'll go on. It. Uh, 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 Yes, it will go on my thumb. It will go on my thumb. Yay, thank you. It will go on my wedding ring, but obviously I like to wear my wedding ring. And if anyone's ever interested, because I have got an engraving on my wedding ring. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. It does actually say Blessed Be, if anyone is interested in I've noticed what's it saying? Ring, it does say blessed be on my wedding ring. There we go. So I love that. I don't actually own anything like that, so cool idea that I actually I, oh well oh, it's not coming off now. Oh, it does come off. <laughs> I just pushed it down further and I'm thinking, God, it's not gonna come off. Yeah, it fits on nice. There we go. Right. This is quite a heavy one, this one. Hope so great this one. Ooh, earrings. 
so I, I think, I mean, the last box was sent to get a full set of like jewellery. So earrings, ring, necklace. I say it that way, I know. I'm probably irritating the hell out of people. But that's just how I say it. Wow, I do not own earrings like this. So the palmist hands. Let me sh try and show you. It's something I don't. Oh, they're different on on the other side. It's of course it's like that part of your hand, isn't it? To, and then to that part. How cool! So I don't know, guys. I don't know palmistry. Is are these correct or? It's something I've never tried, dabbled with. Do these look correct? Or do they look like just pretty or? Whoa, see how dark it's going. That's, that's it, that's it. Lighten up a bit, there we go. Freaks me out a bit when it does that on my phone. There we go. Yeah, anybody who knows palmistry, let me know down below. Does does that look correct? I hope so. And then they're connected. I'm trying not to break them. And they're connected just with an eye at the top. So you can. And we've got the hands. So the face in inwards like that so we've got the hands like that rather than like that so yeah i love those they're quite heavy so if you don't like heavy earrings maybe not for you but they're really nice i don't have uh, any like that oh and we've got ah sorry we've got one we've got one one way and one another way perfect i thought they were both be the same way but if you don't want them that way you can just simply just open up the little you know the little bit and just alter it so you've got them both that way or that way up to your personal choice but I do like how they're both different oh, I love that oh, and I like wearing big uh, earrings you know especially for my videos uh, I've just got my pentacles in today um, so that you guys can actually see them because if I put my smaller earrings in you can't really see them so this I'm going to open it first because I've got a tarot deck guys and it's one I do not own and you know what a collector I'm like I am that is me, I am a collector, I, I'm terrible with anything. Whenever I start a new hobby, I have to have the whole set. I am terrible. And it is the Wandering, Wandering Moon Tarot. Let's have a little look. So I, I do not have it. I'm getting my scissors around it. I always put, you know, to try and lift uh, the little box up. I tend to put scissors underneath it. If you're struggling to try and get cards open, that's what, that's what I do. I put scissors under it because they're a nightmare, aren't they? And then the cards that I'm working with, I always put in my baggies and I put or, uh, a little bit of selenite in. I find, but personally for me, selenite works best for me, uh, you know, to help keep my cards really nice and fresh and crisp and accurate i'm loving the backs of these now there doesn't seem to be an information leaflet it does look like it's the one of the ones with the pdf on the back uh, oh so the back of the card is that let's have a look so it's in black and white I'm just trying to I'll divide the set up. It looks absolutely beautiful. So I'm not going to show you a card at a time. I'll just like fan it a bit. So we've got like crystals. 
So if you work with crystals and so it'd be interesting to get the, um, the you know the guide book on the PDF. The cardstock's really nice. It feels like it's going to be a nice shuffler. Uh, oh, I like that one. I've got a few pips in there. I don't normally work with pip decks purely because I, I'm still a still a baby when it comes to tarot. I don't call myself an expert at all. Um, so I'll show you the full. Yeah, that's how I feel some days. Uh, so we've, I'll just get all the. Where are we? Okay. I'm just getting the, the majors out, they were the uh, minors, these are the majors, I'll try and show you then. So, absolutely beautiful. Oh, that, that one. So, death, <laughs> straight to the point, death. Yeah, my favourite card. Uh, whenever I charge my cards up, uh, I do it by moonlight, full moon, and I will always find the moon card. So where are we? Uh, so I'll find find the moon, just like that, just as they are. My screen's going really dark. I don't know why. I apologise. Um, that's better. Hello, back into the light. Three, two, one. You're a chicken. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, when I'm charging my cards by moonlight, what I'll do is I'll always find the moon card. Don't know why, it just came to me one day. And I just simply just charge them like that. I don't spread them out or anything like that. I charge the decks that I'm working with that month on my windsill with my crystals, whatever. And I get more accurate results by doing that, by simply putting the moon card on top. Do whatever suits you best and then like I say with the baggies I always put a selenite crystal in with the cards. I love the energy of selenite, it just it cleanses, it's, it's just like a little, I don't know, it's like a little battery and it just charges them, it cleanses them, keeps them fresh, it's just like oh, mm, I love the feel of it. But people might not like that, they might want to work with another type of crystal work what's best for you just because i love it and like it don't mean it's perfect for you uh, when i'm uh, working with the uh, cards um i don't do reversals at the moment but purely because I'm, I'm still a beginner i'm still learning uh, my method of uh, like shuffling uh, i will do what i call like a general shuffle so i'll just shuffle absent-mindedly uh, with no intention in my mind whatsoever and then what I'll do is what I call a 13 shuffle. Uh, this is purely because 13 is a special number to me and when I was first learning tarot you know how there's so many different ways of how you shuffle, how you do this, how you do that. I was getting so anxious of how to pick a card. I didn't know how to oh, and do I put that pile there, what shall I do? Um, when you do a fan spread um, it was taking me ages to choose my cards and I came up with this uh, I think I, I saw it in a book somewhere just simply just to shuffle and then choose cards and so I've adapted it to my personal way so when I've done what I call a general shuffle so there's nothing in my mind I'm just, just shuffling just to get the neutral basically so general shuffle I'll even just say general shuffle sometimes and then 13 shuffle so my 13 shuffle i will say my intention and i'll be thinking the intention so the 13 shuffle is simply well she says is simply just shuffling it 13 times so it's one two three four so it's placing your cards 13 times five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve Thirty, 
no thought goes into it only the intention what is my message today so I've done that quickly easily I shuffled it 13 times whatever cards need to be shuffled have been shuffled and then 13 cards so then I'll just go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so from 13 onwards are my cards that I'm working with hope that makes sense to somebody that is how I work with my cards and that is how it works for me there are so many different variations so many different laws on how to do and don't with tarot that is what works for me it might not work for you but if you are struggling like I was at first like oh, dividing my deck up three times putting them together and then doing a fan and I, it was taking me forever just to choose one card <laughs> this works for me um, sometimes you know if you've only got like a small deck of say like 13 cards I do have a deck that's that small I will just fan it out and then choose a card I will do that but I will shuffle it for the 13 times first. I've always got that number 13 because 13 is a special number for me. So for you, if you say number seven is your favorite number, that your magical number, shuffle it seven times, pick your seventh card. Just try it, try it. And the consistency for me was the key. Do it all the time. Uh, I don't do it any other way like I say unless it is like you've only got a few cards then you know but it's, it's quite unlikely that you get only a few cards to be honest because you mainly get even like even if it's 20 and you've got a few left you can just still do like a three card pull from those because I'm like whatever cards are needed will come to me and um, jumping cards I accept jumping cards uh, so like if I'm, I'm shuffling it for the 13th time, uh, you know, doing the 13th shuffle, that jumping card I will put to one side. That needs to be read. And then I will still carry on. Uh, but if a lot comes out, then I don't. I will pop them all together. But if just one card comes out, that's important. But if a lot comes out, then no. Um, but yeah, I, I hope that helps somebody. It really, really helped me. And I do like these cards, they're shuffling really nice. And so it's the Wandering Moon Tarot. Can't wait to check out the PDF. So thank you very much, Coven, for another amazing box. I'm gonna finish my oh, cooking. Mm, yum, yum, yum. So thank you very much for watching. Yum, yum, yum. Please like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this video, then please like and subscribe. That's what I was trying to say with my mouth full of fortune cookie. <laughs> because I never know when these videos are going to be ready. So you'll get the little ping notification when a video is up. And in the meantime, please stay safe. And I hope you have a magical day. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm finishing off the rest of my cookie. Bye for now. Bye.